making references to finding, making time for our happiness. Now, it sounds good on paper. So I would like to get some messages about how we could try to work on our inner happiness or any steps that we can take towards that or any just messages to kind of expand on what spirit might mean by that. So, um, let's see what kind of messages we get. Spirit, can we get some messages on working with our inner happiness? Okay, so the first message is, remember your vision with the trust of a child. I remember when I was little and my dad would make jokes and I had full faith in him, full trust in him, and then find out that he's kidding or joking. Um, that's that kind of trust that they're talking about is that when you're a kid and you just blindly trust in your parents because that's how the whole thing works. Um, so, but just take that time in your life and whatever your dream is, whatever you, you want to do, you know, besides whatever you have to do, the thing you want to do, believe in that vision with blind trust. Basically, it's just putting your full heart into it, saying that this is what I want. I want to do this. So let's see what other messages Spirit would like to add on top of that one. Okay, if you put your blind trust, put blind trust into this dream, that blind trust is what's going to give you the strength you need to walk away from the things that aren't helping you and to transform and to really accept all of the gifts the universe is trying to give you and in order to fill your own cup. So that blind trust is what's going to give you the strength to go towards that dream. The second message, the, by they I mean spirit, says is to consider what's new and different about fun, romance, and making art. Oh, okay. Reconsider what's new and different about fun, romance, and making art. Spirit is saying to take the things that you already have and try to use them in a different way. Um, for example, this bracelet is actually a necklace, but I like it and I already have a necklace on, so I wrapped it around my wrist until I made a bracelet. Small example, but an example. Take the things you have and turn and repurpose them and use them for something else. And in, and in doing this, that is what's going to start to spark your creativity. If you've got some kind of writer's block or just a blockage in general where you really aren't getting any kind of inspiration towards your dream, this is what's going to do that. Using a necklace as a bracelet, those tiny little things are steps into making that happen. Um, you know, using your fancy dishes as decorations. You're not using them for dinner and they're sitting in a cabinet. So why not utilize them for something that you could use it for? Is another tip from Spirit to working on your inner happiness. Okay, so third message that Spirit's brought up. Now is not the time to use an unconventional way and do it dramatically. Don't go making a ton of changes from the get-go. Baby steps. If you actually want something to really stick, you need to baby step it. If you start just making these leaps and bounds, then things are gonna change too fast 
and you're gonna just drop everything because you're gonna be so overwhelmed and so distraught about everything changing so fast, you're not gonna be able to successfully make any changes. All of that is gonna overwhelm and that usually forces people back into their old cycles. So it is very important to make baby steps. Now you can do it in an unconventional way, which is my favorite, and actually the past advice. Use unconventional ways. Just do them in very small baby steps, like changing a necklace into a bracelet. Something that can spark your inspiration, something that isn't overwhelming, and it's already going to start making little changes, even in your subconscious, that work their way up into your reality. Have a good day.